Hello, this is Patrick Parker, and I am the CEO of Empower ID, and this is a quick look on adaptive self-service password reset. So you might ask, what is adaptive self-service password reset, and how does it differ from regular password reset? So first off, we'll just show a little bit about password management in general. Um, in this system, in Empower ID, I'm logged in as this just password user, just a test user. And I can see and manage my profile. I can manage my multi-factor authentication options, which will become important later when I'm proving my identity. Um, I can still do the traditional question and answer based password self-service reset if desired. And the enrollment process is where a user, uh, when they're logging in, they can be forced to enroll the first time. Or at any point, uh, they can enroll. And they can answer questions and the number of questions, the types of questions, uh, that's all based on their policy. Uh, and you can even have help desk questions where the user answers a question or questions and the help desk can see these questions and answers in order to validate their identity in an assisted password reset. The other questions are all private and can only be used if they're doing a Q&A based password self-service. And of course, users, uh, before they forget their passwords, they can change their password and have it synchronize that change out to all of the systems, cloud or on-premise, in which they might have a user account uh, that's not enabled for SSO, so it needs a password change. Now, the policy here is enforced, uh, has many, many options, um, and it can be stronger than any password policy in your other systems. That way you have a, a single global uh, strong password policy. So now let's take a look at uh, what happens if I've forgotten my password and I need to do this adaptive uh, self-service password reset. So at this point, we're back out of the login screen. Um, we can access this password self-service reset from the web, uh, from our mobile phone, uh, from the Windows uh, login screen if you're using our optional credential provider. And you can even do it from a chat bot via SMS or from another channel uh, to do a self-service password reset and unlock. In this case, we're just simply going to click on the link for um, I forgot my password. And that's going to load the Password Reset Center uh, multi-factor authentication workflow. Now, this is an adaptive workflow. And what that means is that it, the behavior is based upon a lot of factors taking into account um, who is this person, uh, what is their risk score, their roles, which policy did they receive, and then what are the requirements based on that policy for us to trust that this person really is who they say they are uh, in order to do a password reset. Uh, other factors included in that, of course, are uh, where are they coming from? Are they inside the network? Are they outside the network? Are they coming from a trusted device? So it's more than just a traditional password reset. It's using uh, more zero trust concepts, adaptive authentication concepts to provide a much more secure and sophisticated password self-service reset process that's simple for end users. So at this point, I'm just gonna identify myself with my username or my email. And the next step in the workflow um, if in your organization you have the question and answer based options enabled, um, you would see that. Um, you can also have the multi-factor or adaptive options, which we see here, and you can even have both depending upon who the person is and some other options. So in this case, I have adaptive multi-factor options enabled, and it's determined that I do need to validate my identity. Uh, and here are the options I have available. Uh, there are many options that you can enable for different users based on policy and other types of criteria, like opting in. Uh, I can pick which ones I want from a list. Um, but in this case, I have the ability to use a FIDO YubiKey um, if I have that available. I can use my EmpowerD mobile phone authenticator application. Um, I can use device registration where I prove my device and that way it can track me in the future and my device is a form of, of uh, identity verification. Uh, or I can have it send me a one-time password, either via SMS, uh, email, or even voice call delivery, where it can call and deliver the password via voice. In today's case, we're going to pick the mobile authenticator. And then in that case, I have the mobile phone app installed on my iPhone. Um, I also have the iWatch app on my iWatch. And I can enter in a one-time password that's changing, or I can have it send me a push. Now, the push-based uh, method will send a push down to my mobile phone app and to my iWatch app, 
and I can see that it, uh, the request, and I can choose to approve the request and say, yes, this is me from this address on this device trying to log in right now. Now, at this point in a workflow, uh, it's adaptive, so it's checking, was that enough for us to trust that this is really Patrick? Uh, if I were coming from an untrusted network or some other criteria based upon who I am, it might ask me to do another form of multi-factor until I've reached enough of a trust point level that it can say that uh, I should be allowed to, that, uh, to do a password reset. So in this case, um, I, I did validate my identity. It trusts me after I did that mobile phone push uh, and approved it from my watch. And I can enter in my new password. And of course, it's going to validate this password against your password policies, uh, making sure that it, it uniqueness checking, uh, blocked word checking. Um, and it's showing me my optional result here of everywhere for, uh, it changed my password. Now, that's optional. Uh, a lot of customers disable that, uh, but it's good to see the results. Now, in this case, I only had one account. But if I had many, many accounts across all the various systems, you would see the result of it doing the reset and the unlock on all those systems. So again, this was a quick look at adaptive self-service password reset, and I hope you enjoyed watching.